Hey guys, this is Lucretia and you are tuned in to another episode of Candid Conversations. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing. Today, we're going to take another moment to pray. And some might say, Lucretia, why prayer? And to that I say, why not prayer? As believers, our lives are built upon communication with God. So prayer, just like breathing, is essential to our daily lives. Today's prayer is going to be based upon Ephesians chapter 1. And you might say, Lucretia, why should your prayer be inspired by scripture? And to that I say, what better place to gain inspiration to pray than from scripture? Praying the heart of God. So let us pray. So Father, as always, we thank you and we praise you because you are a great and mighty God. You are the creator and the sustainer of the universe, and nothing takes you by surprise. Absolutely nothing. We thank you, Father, for this time and this space to join in prayer. So God, we thank you for your word. We thank you that your word says that you have called us and that you are faithful. Even when we are unfaithful, Father, you are so faithful. I thank you, Father God, that we are faithful followers of Jesus Christ in this season, no matter what comes our way. We receive your grace and we receive your peace and we receive your blessings, Father God. We thank you for blessing us with spiritual blessings in heavenly places because we are united in Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you for loving us from the foundations of the world and that you chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in your eyes. Thank you, Father, for taking great pleasure in adopting us and bringing us to you through your son, Jesus. Father God, we thank you for your richness and your kindness and your grace and your freedom that floods our lives through Jesus Christ. We stand forgiven of our sins because of the blood of Jesus. We declare, God, that in this season that you are showering us with your kindness and your wisdom and your understanding, God, and your grace, God at the right time, God. It doesn't matter what it looks like, but you will bring everything together in heaven and on earth and under earth on the authority of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for uniting us in Christ and for the inheritance that we have received because we are in Christ. You chose us in advance to accept the good news that Jesus saves. Thank you, Father, that we are identified with Christ. Thank you, Father, for giving us Holy Spirit. We glorify you, Father, for the gift of the Holy Spirit who leads, who guides, who comforts us, who reminds us of things that Jesus has said and tells us of things to come. Father God, we receive the guarantee of the inheritance that you've promised. Thank you for your spiritual wisdom and insight so that we may grow in the knowledge of God. Father, we are asking today that you would flood our hearts with light so that we can understand the confident hope that you have given us, God. Help us to understand the incredible greatness of your power because we believe you, God. Thank you, Father, that it is the same power that raised Jesus from the dead that dwells on the inside of us. We are made full and we are made complete in Christ, who's at the right hand of the Father, above any ruler, any power, any leader, and in authority. 
We thank you, Father, for what you're doing in our lives. And we thank you, Father, for what you are doing in your world. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining, tuning in, subscribing, liking, and taking a moment to pray with me on Candid Conversations. I will talk to you later. Goodbye.